We had the park totally to ourselves, so I thought, well, why not let her off the There leaf she is. And let her run around and get rid of some of her energy. Come on, Bella. Thanks for visiting Ooh. Bella's Vistas. Please like and subscribe. Click the notification bell as well. What a wonderful place for us to park up here. We had a great night's sleep here. Back in the morning, we're on oh, the road again. again. We're going back in the Burning up the highway. Sure did a lot of driving, saw lots of bridges. We're having a lot of fun. We're headed to Sault Ste. Marie. Gonna be back in Canada for a while. We're north of Lake Superior and we're starting to see some colors. Just a little bit of color in the trees. I'm hoping we get to see a lot more. We had lots of wonderful park ups here. This was one of them. What a beautiful sunset we got. In the morning, once again, driving. Who would have thought? Back on the highway again. Chippewa We're at Chippewa Falls near Sault Ste. Marie. What a wonderful falls it is. This is one of the spots the group of seven painted. From what I can see, they used quite a bit of artistic interpretation in their paintings. It's great to be here, though. What a wonderful waterfall. I walked all the way up to the top and then walked along all the way down to the bottom. And I had a great time of it. I really did. We found a place called Richard's Landing, and it's just tremendous. We've been spending quite a little bit of time here at Richard's Landing. There's the laundromat. It's great. Lots of art stores. Wonderful place. It's right on the water, too. Well, it's a foggy day today. It's Saturday morning, and there's an art show today. It's actually a tour. There's a circuit. We're going to go and drive this tour and sort of go on a busman's holiday for me and see what the local artists are up to in this area. Well, it's a nice morning, but it's kind of foggy. We're going off on an artisan's tour. Lots of different kinds of crafts and things we're going to see today. I hope it's fun. You see these signs showing you the way on the Sylvan Circle. Great art exhibit. There's such a variety of things on this Sylvan Circle. Here's some jewelry, custom-made jewelry. Imagine the hours that went into making all of these things. Then there's some artwork, wildlife art. Now this is something I really enjoy, watercolor paintings. The wonderful lady that was making the painting showed me how she does it. It's phenomenal. She said that watercolor sometimes has a mind of its own. I don't, I've never tried painting. This sewing machine reminds me so much of my mom when we lived on King Street East in my grandfather's apartment building. My mom had a Singer sewing machine. Beautiful work. The fabric art's incredible. There's all kinds of other work here as well. Paintings, North of Superior kind of thing, seascape. These paintings amazed me. They're painted on slabs cut into rock. The woman has someone saw the rocks, then she paints on them and coats them with acrylic. There was lots of photography on display as well. These are wooden boxes that are custom made out of slices of wood. The fella slices the wood extremely thin. He was giving away bookmarks made from wood. This Sylvan tour is a real nice drive in the country as well. Beautiful fall colors. It's just starting to color up, but it's nice to be here. It's a good reason to go for a drive in the country, I think. Some wonderful photographs here. Acrylic mounted prints. Star trails, the photographer was explaining his work. Lots of note cards and postcards and things. More pottery, I got to see lots and lots of pottery. These wooden birds are amazing. They're hand carved, they're extremely well done. They're on a par with decoys that I've seen into the thousands of dollars. Beautiful carvings. And here, the falcon. Doesn't that remind me of Humphrey Bogart and the Maltese falcon? Love falcons. We had some falcons in Waterloo. 
This tour took us about six hours to complete this loop. It's very well marked on the map and there's signs how to get everywhere. This one center was in a fairly busy part of town, a little bit hard to find a parking spot there. Inside, tremendous amount of pottery. And there's a lot of work that goes into this. There's a ceramic birdhouse here. I've never seen one before. These masks are pretty interesting, a little bit scary maybe, but you know, it'd be good in your rec room or at your cottage or in your living room maybe. Lots of little knickknacks and odds and sods here, stocking stuffers, I suppose. Look at this wildlife photography. Amazing photographs, canvas mounted prints, wonderful stuff. More pottery. And it's classic and very well done. The pottery is phenomenal. It's not easy to make pottery. I know a little bit about kilning things. Look at the detail on these wooden boxes. These are handcrafted and they're wonderful. Some wonderful hand-woven placemats and things. Lots of stuff. I mean, if you're gonna have a placemat on your table, why not have a nice handmade one? Beautiful things. These paintings were displayed among silk. And it's just beautiful. The, watercolor paintings against the silk. Wonderful work. Hours and hours of work goes into these things. A lot of inspiration. This was very interesting. Hand-woven rugs from recycled material. And the amount of work that goes into these, I can't even imagine. To sell a rug for $50 like this, I, I just can't imagine how much work goes into them. And they're beautiful. It's recycled material, but it's, it's fabric. It's going to last, you know. I mean, it's a real work of art. While we're driving along the artist loop, I notice a antique store. So I pulled a U-turn. We're going to take a look through this uh, antique co-op and see how that works. Here we are at the antique shop. There was a wonderful antique shop. It wasn't really on the tour, but it was on the road and I happened to see it. So I ran in to have a look around and see what I might see. Some National Geographic magazines, collectibles, some trunks and things. There was even something from my Kitchener-Waterloo area, a Conestoga wagon. Beautiful antiques collectibles, and a story behind every item. I mean, it's unbelievable what you could find. This is something that intrigues me, these wooden slabs. My dad made a thing for our house number on Clark Avenue like that. Here's a pair of alpacas, wonderful little animals. They had the cutest little cry, like a baby crying almost. And they take the wool from them and make all these items. The wool's got to be taken off and carded and dyed and spun. And it's amazing. Some patio stones to walk on down your garden path. Again, some fine pottery. Wonderful glazes on this. Now these cutting boards, I don't know if I'd even want to put a knife to them, they're so beautiful. And some of them, the pattern on them, you might want to be careful when you were cutting anything on them, they're a little bit uh, hallucinogenic. But they were wonderful, marvelous carving boards. Soapstone sculptures, unbelievable amount of work must go into these, I can only imagine. So smooth and polished. Wonderful soapstone sculptures. Amazing things. And it's history. The grizzly bear. I was tempted by the grizzly bear, really tempted. These characters are something else. Discus fish, wonderful things. Weaving, I was really struck by weaving. The lady that I know in New Brunswick does weaving. 
some hand weaving and sometimes with a loom like this as well. Super. <laughs> I'm a movie star. And I got <laughs> pictures of the of the lamas that the wool comes oh, off of. Yes, great. Yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna do a show and tell for We're, I do a YouTube channel, so Oh do you? We're staying in Saint Joseph right now, so oh. um uh I saw this about the artist tour. Oh Saint Joseph's Island. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you're just visiting the area? Well, and we're just traveling. We've been on the road for four months. Oh. But I had a shower today, so I shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> oh, I know what that's like. She wove these wonderful placemats once again. Just unbelievable creations. s, &S Creations does stained glass work. Wonderful lampshades. decorations, a fine lamp like that, just beautiful. I was really delighted that I had an opportunity to take this tour. A lot of times I just miss things, but this time it worked out just perfect. We were having a bit of a rest stop and this fit right in with our plans. Some more handmade jewelry and it's wonderful stuff. Really nice. Another artist making more fabric art. Amazing this is fabric. wonderful, like a great wall covering like that. It brings warmth and it also has an acoustic property to dampen echoes in a room. It's very nice. Now this is something I've never ever seen before. This lady is cutting tiny pieces of fabric to make pointillism artwork. It's just tremendous. Different size pictures that she makes. Once again, the amount of work that goes into these pieces doesn't bear thinking about. Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and come on back soon.